Hi, today we are going to see how to use the container attribute to fix our content tree view. This is majorly to fix the, the authoring experience or to improve the authoring experience. And as part of our previous video, we have seen that how we can reuse any of our existing component using a data SLY resource STL syntax. Okay. So I'll just recap quickly. So we have, we had created a, uh, we already had a card component inside that we were printing only two attribute, but we wanted to add a button component. So instead of creating the button component from scratch, we try to reuse one of our existing component using data SLY resource. Okay. To uh, know about data SLY resource, you can always go to the HTL specification documentation. You can see this particular syntax. This is the node name. I'll just show the node name also as part of this. So if uh, I'll go to my content, WKND, US, EN, home, root, container, container, card component. So if you see the card hyphen button, whatever has been provided here, right, that will become the node name of my resource that is going to be added as part of this particular component. Okay. Now there is one problem we have seen when we have completed this example that our button component is coming off site, little off from the card component. And it seems like the button is added outside of the card component container, but actually it is added inside the card component. Okay. To fix this, what we have to do, the if you see right now even container also has a view where we can just close and open and it, it's kind of a having a tree structure indentation proper indentation structure so to use this we have to use an attribute called is cq container and that we have to use at the card level the component level okay so in the dot content xml here you can put it or i'll just put it in the cq dialog and i will import it so in the card level, we are going to add a attribute name called CQ colon is container. The type will be Boolean and the value will be true. Let me add it, save it and let's reload this particular page to see the change. Okay. Didn't work. Now let me reload. Oh, sorry. I have done at the wrong place. My mistake. So we have to add at the component level. Okay. We were, we actually added mistakenly in the content level. Okay. Let me add this. Save it. And I'll remove that line from here. CQ container. Save it. Okay. Just to revalidate. We have added each container true. Okay. Yes. If you see now we get similar view how the container is having. Okay. So whenever you are adding a data SL by resource, make sure to add a each CQ container to your component level so that it will act like a container for any other component that comes inside it. Okay. Thank you.